Hello friends, once again welcome to our daily electrical YouTube channel and I am Moinak. Today your topic is limit switch. Uh, as we come to the definition, the limit switch is a mechanical type switch where it has an actuator this one which can sense the pressure of any physical object which is moving towards it like this way and it can give you a electrical output in form of NONC contact that means normally closed or normally open contact the electric outputs can be collected the potential free electrical outputs can be collected from these three terminals let us discuss the working principle and operation in detail. As you can see, there is two main components used in a limit switch. Number one is the actuator, which detects the pressure of a moving object and sends it by a mechanical way. It is also called an operational head. And number two is NONC electrical outputs. We can get the output from the two terminals given in the back side of the limit switch. Let us see the example in lights. Now we have a roller type limit switch here. As you can see, it is the actuator or operating head. When a pressure is applied, it can switch and the electrical outputs are provided here. This one, two and three. As per the connection, in a normal condition, 1 and 2 is interconnected. That means it is normally closed contact and 1 is the common contact and 3 is normally open contact. Let us check with the continuity tester. The 1 is common and as you can see it is 1 and 2 is normally closed. That means when it is in normal condition, there will be a connection in between 1 and 2. It is correct. And there is no connection in between 1 and 3. But the mechanical pressure switch, that means the actuator is pressed, then the connection just shifted to 1 and 3. And now 2 is disconnected. That means now the limit switch is in activated position and common and normally open contact is connected and if you release this then again the contact will be in 1 and 2 now we shall discuss about the connection of limit switch consider it is the limit switch and it is the actuator which is in initial position and in second picture here the limit switch is operated that means the actuator is pressed by any physical object. See, in initial condition, there is a contact between C and normally closed. Whenever you apply the voltage in this way, by providing the common supply here and taking the output from the NC side, there will be a series connection. And the load, or say it is your motor. It will be on because the series circuit will be formed but whenever in the second position limit switch is operated that means this actuator has been shifted by a pressure of any moving object and then the voltage you have provided to the common connection cannot go to the NC connection because the potential free contacts has been changed to NO then the series circuit is break and the load is disconnected from the supply in this way using a limit switch you can connect or disconnect a supply from the load by operating the limit switch head there are several applications of limit switch starting from our domestic appliances and to the industrial segments where it can be used in various ways think about your refrigerator door when you open the door a light is blown up and when you shut the door the light is off in the reason is the operation of a limit switch is there inside the door a limit switch is connected think about some industrial process control industries where we monitor the system and process 
by using a limit switch when the position is exceeded the predetermined value then we check the output and hook up it with the PLC or DCS control board and turn off or turn on the monitor motor as per the requirement. Then in packaging industry also we use various kinds of limit switch in control monitors in conveyor belts we also use limit switch. Hope you guys understood the basic idea of limit switch and its connection. If you have any question regarding this, please put down your comment inside our comment section. And if you like our video, kindly share, sub kindly subscribe our channel and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.